God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayer on behalf of your servant, Leslie Cash, whom you have taken out of the world. And because she put her trust and hope in you, command that she be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy your eternal reward. Amen. Amen. I did not know Leslie personally, and I am poorer for it. I understand that she was a loving mother who gave up her law practice to raise her children. Leslie loved her mother, Abigail, and her father, Jack, and their dogs, uh, Harvey and Little Bear. They told me that she also loved gardening and classical music particularly Glenn Gould's versions of the Goldberg Variations. She also liked walks in the moonlight on the beach. And she loved her husband, Ben, and their children. I'll uh, take that as my cue, if I may. <clears throat> First of all, Leslie practiced Buddhism, which to her was a philosophy and not an organized religion. In fact, Leslie abhorred all organized religions. To her, they were the most dangerous fairy tales ever invented, designed to elicit blind obedience and strike fear into the hearts of the innocent and the uninformed. To her, the only thing worse than death would have been the knowledge that her rotting flesh was to be trapped for all eternity inside a big box and buried in the middle of a fucking golf course. <laughs> Although the absurdity of being eulogized by someone that didn't even know her has exactly the kind of comedic flourish that Leslie would have cherished. If nothing else, she had a sense of humor. <laughs> I want to read something to all of you so you'll know what I mean. Leslie's last will and testament. And I quote, in the event of my death, I, Leslie Abigail Cash, as a Buddhist, wish to be cremated. My funeral, such as it is, shall be a celebration of the life cycle with music and dancing. After, it is my express desire that my ashes shall be taken to a nondescript location, preferably public and heavily populated, at which point my ashes promptly and unceremoniously are to be flushed down the nearest toilet." End quote. Now that's comedy. Sir, All right, not that's finished. Hey, wait, it's not finished. Hey, wait, it's not finished. Stop listening to me. This is not what she wanted. Just keep Just moving. Let her go of me. She's my wife. This is her will. This is against her wishes. God damn it. We have songs to sing. If you'll open your books, we'll read this morning from Matthew 18, verses 15 to 